Danny Green returns to the ring after almost three years away when he faces Argentina's Roberto the Beast Belonte tonight in Melbourne. Boxing commentator Paul Upham is in and Paul, Danny Green is 42. He hasn't fought in three years. He's certainly not getting any younger. Why is he back? Well, look, he's clear. He's got a clear mission. He said he wants to come back for that rematch with Anthony Mundine that he lost on points in Sydney many years ago. Um, look, at 42 years of age, there is a big question mark. He hasn't fought for three years. History in boxing shows that a lot of guys over the age of 40 do not come back successfully. I'm not saying he's not going to win tonight, but we want to see uh, Danny Green tonight. What sort of condition he is? Has he still got that punching power? And what's he going to do differently at the age of 42? Well, apart from Rocky Balboa, are there any fighters that have, have actually come back successfully full stop? Look, Sugar Ray Leonard, the great American, came back a couple of times, but even he went one too far in his 40s and he, and he got beaten badly by Hector Macho Camacho. So, look, um, age is a factor. Uh, Danny Green is always very fit. We look at him at the press conference and the way he looks fantastic. He always trains really hard. There's no issue there about Danny's fitness. It's the footwork. It's the punching combination. Is it, does he really want to be there after 42 years? He never uh, retired. He never announced his retirement, but he just didn't fight. But he's, over the last couple of months, he said he's coming back to fight that fight with Mundine. But I think tonight's all about Danny Green. How good does he look? What has he got to offer at 42? Well, you mentioned his motivation, of course, being the fight against Anthony Mundine. Let's assume Green does defeat the beast, Belonte. What needs to happen for this almost mythical now Green-Mundine rematch to happen? Well, unfortunately for Danny Green, everything's in uh, Anthony Mundine's hands. He's going to make the fight, the rematch, uh, on his terms. Um, Danny Green has said that he was prepared to go down to light heavyweight. Now, he weighed in yesterday 10 pounds heavier than light heavyweight limit, and he looks a bit lean as it is, so he'd have to strip a bit of weight to get down there. Mundine's fighting down at junior middleweight, down at 154 pounds, so until Anthony Mundine exhausts his opportunities of winning world titles and getting big fights in America at junior middleweight, I can't see this fight happening, but Anthony Mundine probably makes more money against Danny Green than anybody else. So I think that's why it could happen, but I don't know it's going to happen straight away. So tell us about the beast, Belonte, who he wasn't even Green's opponent a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, he was about to fight Kovacs. He pulled out with a, a, a neck injury. Look, he fought three weeks ago. He, he won by knockout. He's a good light heavyweight. He's he beaten everybody in Argentina. Every time he stepped up to the A-grade level, uh, he fought for the WBA world title um, a couple of years ago. He lost on points. He's never been stopped. So if Danny Green can knock this man out, Belonte out, that's impressive because uh, he's never been lost by knockout, but uh, we'll see. As I said, it's all about Danny Green because these fighters come back over the hill at 42 and they think they're right. Until you get in the ring, you don't know for sure. Well, given there are so many question marks over Green going into this one, do you have any idea of what type of bout we can actually expect to see when these two fighters jump in the ring? Look, Blonte's a different type of fighter. Kovacs was more of a technician. He's a straight out and out puncher. I don't think Danny Green's going to take too many risks early. He's going to feel his way into the fight. He's going to get that jab going. He's going to work the body. I don't think Blonte takes it to the body too well, uh, as seen some of his previous losses. So I think Danny Green's just going to be a little bit cautious. But there's a lot of pressure on him because people expect the old Danny Green. There's lots of Danny Green fans out there. And when they're watching on main event pay-per-view tonight, they're going to expect the old Danny Green. And we're going to be waiting anxiously to see what Danny Green we do get. Is he the old green machine? Indeed. Well, let's hope at the very least for a good fight and, of course, a green machine victory as well. Paul Upham, thanks for coming in. Thanks, Richard.